partnership. So how do we partner on that? There's so many ways. We actually have three different offices on public-private partnership, each doing sort of different things. One is working with the um, Disney Corporation because we felt that our airports were not very welcoming. That you walk in, in, you know, in Dulles Airport and it's like Americans this way and the rest of you lot, you know, over there. And we wanted them to be more welcoming. So we worked with Disney to come up with a film on Welcome to America. And I'm very delighted to say that they now have flat screen TVs at Dulles and with these images award-winning director, producer, and Disney donated to us, which was wonderful. And they're trying, and they also have them available for embassies to show, for example, at various times or in the, um, the, for events, but also at airports. Another partnership would be the uh, Fortune 500, working with helping to bring women of the future from different countries, a partnership on getting business women being able to network and meet one another. Uh, we have um, a Business Council for International Understanding, which is a group that's pulled, that's sort of formed together to help the government in, from the business side of things, in various partnerships, not only for Fourth of July events, but also in putting out information, finding events that they can help sponsor or ideas that they can give. Now that was the public-private partnership and we can get you more information on that. In fact, you can go on our state.gov website and there should be a link to the public-private partner office that will have a list of things. The other thing you mentioned is uh, marketing and advertising. Interesting you should say that because just recently, and this was another public-private partnership, is we had uh, members of the marketing and advertising community donate their time to spend a week with us and we picked key people from different agencies to learn what is the professional world doing. There was someone from eBay, there was someone I think from Google and we talked about social networking, how is that being used now? Facebook, can we be using Facebook and social networking and internships for our um, and in internet for our alumni groups, for example. And it was really an eye-opener. We had to explain to them what our goals were, and then they tried to assist us in saying how they thought current contemporary marketing, advertising strategies are relevant. And then you mentioned evaluation. That is a really tough aspect, because what is, how do we measure this? Do we measure this by saying how many people were here? Or do we have you fill out a form to say how many of you think better of America? Or what, what, what would be our satisfaction rate? And then are you really going to want to fill out a form on your way out of here? So is it, you know, what if we had 100 people but 6 people came, came away thinking better of the US? Or what if we had 25 people with all 25 thinking better? So, we try and figure out, we have an office now for measurement and evaluation, and they try and figure out ways that we can use a measurement device. We have a software program that's been completed where embassies can put in information that pulls in at least certain amounts of data that we find are helpful in identifying whether events were or projects are useful or not. The other is we're trying to do more polling, and it might just be that we find 18-year-olds who've never been to the United States and get their views and knowledge about the U.S., and then we send out a poll to the young people who had been on our Ben Franklin Transatlantic Fellowship to see how that view is. And where we've done that, of course, it's we know it anecdotally, but we need to have the, the actual tangible evidence to show, yes, results have been gained. And of course, one of the reasons why we want those results is you have to lobby Congress for funding. You want them to know that you're successful. So we want to do these things because we want to know what works and what doesn't work, but we also want to ensure that our country feels that what we're doing is worth investing in. I'm back. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs>
Yeah, we keep talking. Now? Yes. Yeah. Library, can you hear me? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, really, it's really nice to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Zeneta Pareda. I'm with Crowd Communications. It was something about PR, and I'm in PR since I remember. But uh, have you ever thought about uh, implementing this in your program to, for example, the schools? And after that, figure out, uh, because it was how we measure these things, and I'm thinking about ROI for this. I know that's very serious. But can we do, for example, like one day as a, as a uh, diplomacy day, for example? And after that, uh, figure out from, from countries what we did for this. And you can be, for example, ambassador of this. And this will be our measurement. All right. Say that again. Sorry. Say that again. So we'd have go have a diplomacy day for at example, school. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say Monday, first of September. Yes. It will be instead of going to school here <laughs> for most of the uh, kids, for example, we have a this day, and we gather all of this information what what we did in the world. So we be worldwide. It will, it's a world. And so different spread. embassies could present yeah, what they're yeah, doing. Yeah. Not not only what you do, but uh, we have a, a lot of embassies here, and we'll be worth to present what we did. I think we'll be well known. So, for example, our ambassador from Afghanistan, the embassy from Afghanistan, could present some of the things that exactly. they're doing. Exactly. You represent some of the representatives of this embassy. What we exactly did. I think that's a great idea. And I, other events, what, what will show people that we really yes. exist and this is uh, worth to spread instead of uh, saying, just, just do it. I think that's great because I think for young people also to know that there's a future career as a diplomat and that yeah, diplomats I'm aren't... Them, but I, I Pardon? Went, I'm one of them, but I, I changed my mission. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, to talk about future career either way and to also have young people cognizant of maybe how their country's image is presented uh, is projected also, so it kind of goes both ways. You see how countries are trying to communicate to the people, and then you think, how are we communicating? Uh, I, I was thinking also when you were talking about uh, reward, these this countries, uh, what, what did something you know, really good, what, what, what had a really good programs for this, and I think that that's what you're thinking about. I think that's great. One of the projects that we have in all of our embassies is to, is to have people from the embassy, from all parts of the embassy, go into high schools, grade schools, universities to talk. And I know one embassy, which one was it? They picked one day to have like a lot of people from the embassy. So that they sort of, I think it was, uh, it might have been Montenegro, because they really almost canvassed all the schools in one day. And it was really fun for the embassy because that was their one day they talked beforehand about what did they want to show, what did they want to talk about, and then they were all able to come back and compare notes, whether it's the ambassador or the marine guard or the um, person in the econ economic section. And it's a great experience for the embassy, and I know that the students really enjoyed it too. And one of the things that we talk about are the exchange programs. And to, do, to consider, as part of your education, that you study abroad in a foreign country, that there's a lot of scholarships available, and there's a lot of programs that embassies have to bring young people to their country. I think it's a great opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Maybe here in the first room. Yeah. I think a young lady should have a chance first. <laughs> Um, I'm working for National Police Headquarters and as a, uh, as a person working for the Polish administration, I'm rather interested in uh, technical is um, issues of uh, introducing uh, public diplomacy. So generally uh, what I'd like to ask you for is it, is it, is it generally expensive for the uh, country's administration to introduce such a, uh, such a diplomacy as public diplomacy? Um, Imagine uh, Poland would like to focus on such a style of uh, diplomacy. How should it prepare uh, itself uh, for doing so? Uh, how was it in case of American diplomatic stuff? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a pertinent question.